Alabama fans, welcome into another edition of Bama Insider on the Road. Last week, we were in the Tampa Bay area for a matchup between Venice High and St. Francis Academy. There, we saw Venice Edge defender Damon Wilson and St. Francis 2024 quarterback Michael Van Buren. Both players are targets for Alabama. Starting with Wilson, the five-star prospect was a standout performer despite his team's loss against St. Francis. Wilson's explosiveness off the snap is undeniably one of his top attributes. On several occasions, Wilson looked like he was shot out of a cannon and got into the backfield with barely a hand being laid on him. One of those plays resulted in a crucial assisted sack on fourth down that turned the ball back over to Venice. We also took notice of Wilson's strength on Thursday. Wilson is someone who takes no days off in the weight room and it shows on the football field. Wilson is able to snatch players by their jerseys and never lets ball carriers slip his grasp. He even had a play where he unintentionally lifted a St. Francis player off his feet on a tackle, a testament to the strength that he plays with. Wilson is a long, athletic prospect, with his body frame being similar to that of a Dallas Turner or a Will Anderson. Alabama head coach Nick Saban has even told him during a previous visit that he has the frame they're looking for at the jack position. As his on-3 scouting report notes, Wilson is highly technical and polished with his hands already. He looks and plays the part of a five-star prospect and is well-deserving of being the fourth-ranked player overall on On3's 2023 rankings. Switching gears, Michael Van Buren is the number eight quarterback on the 2024 On3 consensus and has been in possession of an Alabama offer since March. There wasn't much to see from Van Buren from a passing perspective on Thursday. St. Francis primarily stuck with the run game, and when they did go to the air, it was short to intermediate passes. Van Buren did, however, have an excellent pass on a touchdown strike in the second quarter. With a defender barreling down on him, Van Buren quickly set his feet, locked in on his target, and delivered the ball where only his receiver could get it. Van Buren also had some solid runs, including a 40-yard-plus rush in the first quarter. He's not the fastest QB in the 2024 class, but will keep defenses on their heels with his ability to take off at any moment. Van Buren is high on the Crimson Tide, and should be returning to Tuscaloosa next month for the Texas A&M game. Thank you all for tuning in to this video. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons, and check out some of our great content on BamaInsider.com. We're still running an incredible deal that gives you premium access for an entire year for just $1. Until next time, take care Bama fans.